Hey everybody, uh, I'm going to go over this demo really quick. Uh, you can see that uh, in this process I'm still going to work the same way I have before. I'm going to lay in my simple forms and then I'm going to jump into my uh, skeletal anatomy. So I want to lay in my scapula, the pelvis, the ribs. and I'm going to color them in so you can kind of see them more clearly. I'll export this out too for you. Once I have that anatomy done, then I can have landmarks to place my muscular anatomy too. So I always start from the top. You can see my trapezius is connecting to the top of the scapula. It goes down to the end of the rib cage, to rib 12. And then it's going to follow the center line, so it's going to be split in perspective. It's going to be a little bit foreshortened on one side, bigger on the other. And then I like to draw through the lats. They go from armpit to armpit and then all the way down. You're going to see me actually adjust the shape of it as it goes around the obliques. And then I'm going to go back up to the deltoids. I'm going to make sure that I really describe the heads of the deltoids so that they're actually uh, curved. So I'm adjusting my lines to make them feel a little bit more rounded. Going back to the lats really quick, make sure that it does intersect underneath the armpits. You want to kind of look for that, uh, that curve that goes all the way across the back because it does connect underneath the trapezius. The deltoid on the other side is going to go intersect into uh, halfway, about one, one third of the way down the arm. And then for the terrace minor, terrace major, and inverse spinatus, I just kind of draw like a little Y, and then I let that Y kind of distinguish the rest of the forms. The obliques on both sides, I'm going to kind of draw them in. Keep your line work pretty simple. I just really want to see shapes. You can see I'm not really describing anything too much other than the placement of the anatomy. That's really what I want you to focus on for this project. Okay. Use your reference material, go back, look at the shapes, because really what I want you to understand is how those shapes correlate with the underlying forms. All right. The next one I'm going to do is going to be the front view. So I'm going to kind of lay in some contours so you can see this a little bit more clearly. My, the front view is going to be of Yoni, starting with the gesture line, still going through the ribs and the pelvis. I want to make sure I have that um, opposing gesture that's happening with the top and the bottom of the pelvic line and the rib cage line. I always want to put my anatomy in because my anatomy is where all the muscles connect to, so that skeletal anatomy is really important. I had to figure out how high the clavicles were because that's where the deltoid and the pectoralis major is going to connect. So when you're drawing, you can draw those forms in really, really lightly. They don't need to be too dark, but I'm really emphasizing here so you can see it really clearly. Once I have those forms in, I'm getting rid of that layer just so you can kind of see how I'm going to draw in the uh, front of the torso. I start with my little T. I draw across the pecs and then draw down the abs. The abs are not, are not a straight line. They kind of have this little bit of an in and out, in and out. And then I'll go through and I'll subdivide the pecs into the octagonal shape that they have. Remember, nothing crosses that center line where the sternum is, so I want to keep that empty. I'm going to lay in both the deltoids, which are really foreshortened because they're pushed really high up in space. The lats are now really visible because his arm is open, and we can see that side of his body. So I'm just going to go into the armpit, come all the way down, and then wrap around the back on both sides. Now I want to go in, and when I'm lying in the serratus muscles, I want to count the lines, and I use those lines to kind of map out my muscles. And then I'll make like little triangles where each of the lines are. So you can see I'm doing that on both sides of the body at the same time. I always want to draw from top to bottom and from left to right. I don't want to draw just one side all the way down and obsess over it. I want to make sure that my anatomy is reading correctly on both sides. And because those arms are up and open, uh, on the left-hand side I'm seeing um, one, two, three, four, five, six serratus muscles on the right hand side I'm seeing the fourth and the fifth one is underneath that armpit that you can see because we're seeing the perspective from underneath. And I want to go through. I have the overall shape of my obliques. I'm going to break down each individual muscle group. You know if you feel comfortable doing this I would suggest practicing it because it's really important. Remember the curvature of the lines between the abs and then remember there is four abdominal muscle groups on either side. They start small, they get a little bit bigger, a little bit bigger, and then smallest at the bottom. I didn't draw these perfectly. I would say that the one, the third one down should be a little bit larger, but that's okay. I'm not going to be that picky. If you can get the shapes right and the placement right, that's really what I'm looking for. And that's kind of the goal of this project. 
this these next two weeks, I should say, not this project. And then I want to lay in the obliques because the obliques are pretty much the last facet of the form. So I always kind of leave them to last because really you're just tracing the silhouette shape and then finding the line work that transitions down the body and establishes the curves that go up and around the outside of his abdominal region. Okay. Once that's in, I'm going to darken the lines a little bit, establish some simple shapes for the limbs so I have some structure. And then I realized that the trapezius was actually showing. So I kind of laid in the trapezius on the back of his neck, and then there's a little piece, piece of the trapezius on the other side of his shoulder peeking out where it connects into the pecs. Uh, in digital format, I'm going to lay in some colors just so we can see these separations more clearly. I do the same thing when I'm working in charcoal. Just kind of helps me to kind of visualize where everything is. And then I'll also export these uh, images out for all of you guys. The biggest thing to remember is keep it simple, keep it easy, uh, and don't feel like you need to overdraw with the line work. Keep your line work really consistent across the board. That's the goal of the piece. Okay? All right, guys. Thanks so much. If you have questions, you know where to find me. Good luck.